Good day. I'm your host with the most important information about nurses on your favorite program, Nurses Forum with Lovers. Today we are going to discuss another topic uh, which is epic and interesting and uh, this is the information most of the nurses have been asking or trying to find out the difference between hospitals and the nursing homes. So we're going to dissect these two today and find out where do they differ and if you want to make a choice uh, to go for any one of these at least you will be informed in a nutshell you'll have an idea as to what you're going for so this is what you're going to do ladies and gentlemen so before i proceed please that's right subscribe subscribe and subscribe and like the videos that I'm uploading every time just to motivate me just to encourage me to do more and more every time okay now I'll give you a second to subscribe thank you for subscribing now we will proceed and uh, we'll look into the difference between hospitals and nursing homes so hospitals basically uh, I do care for patients uh, in, in, in the trying to find actually the cure for the condition. It could be an injury or it could be an ailment the patient would, be pre, pre, would have pre, presented with. So the main objective, the main aim is to provide cure. All right. So unlike in a nursing home, it is more of a resident uh, for, pay, for people with chronic conditions which do not necessarily need a cure. Uh, but of course, they'll be on medication, on chronic medication. And these conditions usually are under control. Of course, they can get sick here and there and get the attention that is needed. So we're going to look deeper into that. And so hospitals, like I said, provide care with aim of finding cure to the condition. Uh, whether you're dealing with an illness or injury, the hospital work diligently to cure the ailment and you will be able to leave once the problem has been adequately addressed. So that's how a hospital operates. Now let's look into a nursing home. Nursing homes do not typically cure illnesses. Residents in nursing home usually do not have acute problems. They have uh, long-term problems or what we call chronic illnesses and that cannot be cured, but they can and will be readily treated and managed by the medical team just to provide comfort and uh, a good life, you know, uh, during the days they will be residing at a nursing home. So let's look into how often do the health providers come or the, the, the doctors or the GPs, how they're involved and the multidisciplinary team is involved in this too. While in a hospital, it would be reasonable or expected for the doctor to come or the medical provider to come daily and uh, offer the services to patients and also the nursing staff uh, will be there 24-7 with the patient. Uh, so the multidisciplinary team will be coming uh, as needed or as required, but the doctor definitely comes on daily basis or during the night there will be on call doctor who can be called anytime. Uh, within vicinity of the hospital to come and attend to any emergency that will have uh, emerged. So this is quite the opposite in a nursing home uh, setting where some residents may not see a medical provider for an entire week uh, if they are feeling healthy and doing well medically. Uh, provider visits are significantly less frequent in a nursing home setting as the goal again is not to cure, but to maintain dignity and quality of life. Though a doctor can come or a GP uh, can come who is really assigned for the nursing home 
and come on daily basis if there are patients who are sick very sick or who have some issues and conditions that needs to be attended to and of course their medications can be reviewed uh, in a, after some time they're not like reviewed every day and changed frequently as compared to the hospital setting so maybe in some setting in some private uh, in some homes rather uh, patients can have their medication logged into after four months so it all depends with the hospital sorry with the nursing home or the, the the service provider how often they do things so as we are talking the hospitals and uh, the nursing homes we need to be in mind that they are also public and private nursing homes as well as public and private hospitals so the situation might be different but generally this is the information that you need to have in mind so you will understand that uh, when a patient is admitted in a hospital uh, can stay in the hospital uh, as long as the condition that is being uh, looked into or taken care of or being treated on as long as it is still there uh, the patient can stay in the hospital uh, it's not really a resident uh, but it's the aim of staying in the hospital is to find the cure for the condition you cannot discharge a patient that is still sick with the same condition she or he was admitted with or will have developed during the time of the hospital stay so you need to take care of that so a patient can stay in a hospital in for days weeks even months you know depending uh, on how the condition is being is responding to the treatment whereas in a uh, nursing home a patient can stay for the rest of the life of his or her life because it's like a home it's a permanent res resident they are called residents rather they are not really called patients as in a hospital setting but they are residents because this is a place of staying it's like a home to them though from time to time they can also go out and uh, to their families to their family members friends or they can go out for a visit or just to attend to their routine lifestyle maybe going out for a coffee or anything they please according to how their lives were like before coming into the resident the idea is not to make them feel depressed or really stressed by the environment but it has to be a home setup so it is quite flexible so this is uh, what we need to have in mind in any healthcare system the level of care should match the goals of the patient and the condition that uh, the patient might have to deal with or is dealing with so it is important to acknowledge the similarities and differences between these healthcare systems and align your expectations for care accordingly so let's also uh, look into well why would you make a choice to go for the nursing home or for the for the hospitals like i said they are public hospitals and uh private hospitals public hospitals in ireland are hse and uh, private they're different around and many and numerous of them as well as also the nursing homes there's hse uh, or the public uh, nursing homes and uh, we also have private uh, nursing homes as well so in terms of uh, caseload the hospitals are heavy in terms of uh, uh, caseload be it uh, private hospital or public hospital the caseload is quite heavy there's a lot that is involved when you're working in a hospital uh, though you are working also of course with the multidisciplinary team with different demands doctors will have different demands and the patient will have different demands and the staff also uh, will be having their own expectations but the most important thing in a hospital or in any healthcare setting is to focus on the patient the patient is the center 
of every activity. So in the hospital, because we want to uh, make sure that the patient is cured, is treated, or is, tr is uh, able to be discharged after having accessed the health care uh, system. So you realize that after having accomplished or completed the course of treatment and responded uh, to the treatment, the patient can be discharged home, straight home to their family members or can be discharged uh, to a nursing home. Or what can happen also is that uh, a patient can be discharged uh, into a nursing home for a respite just for a few days uh, or weeks whilst the situation at home is being looked into and eventually goes home. And uh, so this is what happens. So in a nursing home, uh, you will realize that uh, the, the caseload, the, the, the demand of work is less as compared to a hospital. There's less demand in terms of work. So you can nurse, well, in a hospital, you can nurse at least on average of six to 12 patients as a, as a, as a staff nurse depending also on how big the hospital is or uh, how many you are in terms of staffing. So in a nursing home also, it all depends how big the nursing home is. Some nursing homes have few patients and uh, some nursing homes have more patients depending also on the infrastructure or the, the patients they will be able to admit or the residents they're able to have at any given time. So uh, this is what happens. So if you're to make a choice, you need to understand the difference between these two and uh, so that you're able to make an informed decision as to what you want to go for. It is clear uh, that uh, if you want your nursing knowledge expanded or remain alive, you have to choose uh, one of those based on what I've provided you with. Like I said, in the hospitals, your knowledge is always uh, uh, expanded because you are meeting a new patient from time to time. As you discharge other patients, you also receive other patients, you admit other patients with a different condition or with different situations. And you will be learning and understanding all these from time to time. And also the same patient you'll be nursing can have uh, uh, the drugs reviewed, the condition also changing. So this will really expand your knowledge and understanding. And you need also to understand uh, the patient you are nursing, the condition of the patient. So you'll be nursing quite a number of patients. So the caseload is quite a lot in, in the hospital setting. Of course, uh, in, in, in the nursing home is less demanding. Of course, uh, the patient will be having the chronic conditions like we said but you can also understand and learn more about those if you wish to of course you cannot nurse a patient whom you do not understand the condition and the medication that person is receiving so it's of paramount importance that we understand our patients that we're nursing the nursing homes are more relaxed and the routine is almost the same uh, day in and day out, whereas and uh, the hospitals are more and more uh, demanding, like we said. So yeah, generally this is what you need to have in mind when it comes to a hospital and a nursing home. Okay, so this is the information that I had for you guys. Uh, if you have any question, I did not exhaust everything, of course, but just to give you an iceberg, just a tip of an iceberg, just for you to go and uh, uh, research more or understand a little bit. Uh, like we said, please subscribe and like for more videos so that I'm motivated, like I said, to do more videos for you guys. You are so special. I have to love and leave you for now. Bye-bye.